My name is Allison and I'm a teen librarian at the Schaumburg Township District Library. And it's time for another episode of Lunch and Listen, where I invite you to grab your lunch and sit back and relax while I share some young adult reading recommendations. In today's video, I'm highlighting a wide range of titles because this month's video features recent young adult books that I read and loved. So I'm basically calling them my new favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with a recent graphic novel that I read and loved. And it's called Odessa by Jonathan Hill. So when I found out that Odessa is a post-apocalyptic survival story, and since those are some of my favorite types of books, I knew I had to read it. And I was not disappointed. When the biggest earthquake anyone has ever seen tore the western states of America apart, it was only the beginning of Jenny's family problems. Since only a few months later, her mother unexpectedly left everything and everyone behind and never came back. When Jenny receives a vague letter from her mother eight years later, she once answers. So she gathers up some supplies and money, leaves her two younger brothers and dad behind, and begins on an epic journey with no idea what danger lies ahead. Odessa is an action-packed, gritty, graphic novel with a great cast of characters and detailed artwork that really brings the story to life. All right, so next up, we're going to time travel with Yesterday is History by Kosoko Jackson. When teenager Andre Cobb receives a life-changing liver transplant that helps him beat cancer, he never expected it would come with such an unbelievable side effect. The ability to time travel. It's not every day that you pass out in 2021 and wake up in 1969. But that's exactly what happened to Andre. This is a perfectly paced book that I read in one sitting. It's a thought-provoking coming-of-age story with some romance, and I think fans of the book They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera will truly enjoy Yesterday is History. All right, so now I'm going to switch gears a little bit. And we're going to talk about a real contemporary realistic title called Fat Chance Charlie Vega by Crystal Maldonado. Charlie Vega is a plus size Latina struggling with creating a healthy relationship with her body while dealing with her mother's toxic body shaming. And Charlie's best friend Amelia seems to have it all. And Charlie isn't always sure how to feel about that. So, when Charlie considers pursuing a relationship with a boy from school, she doesn't know what to think. Does he really like her, or is he just trying to get closer to Amelia? All right, to get those answers, you'll have to read the book. But that's okay, because Charlie Vega is an incredibly realistic and real relatable character. This book has drama romance, friendships, and light and fun moments among the more serious ones. I was delighted to read Charlie Vega's journey, and I hope you read and enjoy her journey as well. All right, I have one more title, and with this last one, I'm going to have to admit that I am only halfway done reading it, but I already know it's going to be a new favorite of mine, so I'm going to go ahead and mention it in this video. I'm going to talk about The Project by Courtney Summers. You may recognize the author's name since she wrote the best-selling title, Sadie, that features a true crime podcast and a teen trying to find out what happened to her sister. So if you like that book, you're probably going to like this new book of hers because The Project is a psychological thriller about two sisters, a tragic accident, and a cult. It's told in non-linear alternating point of views between the past and the present and the two sisters. And I can't wait to finish reading it as soon as I'm done with work today. 
All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. As always, the list of the books I discussed today, along with links to past lunch and listen videos, are in the description below. I hope you tune in again for my next lunch and listen video, which will air on Tuesday, May 11th. Thank you all so much again for watching. I hope you have a nice afternoon and please stay safe. Happy reading! Thank you.